Hello everyone. So this is not really chapter three. This is actually more like chapter five. But in order to uh, start doing a takeoff of uh, a drawing, uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you how to first open up a takeoff. Um, so we're gonna show you right now. So here, if I so after I do the plans and I do the scaling, the next window is the specs. The specs as well. The specs is all the plumbing specs that you use to install um uh, you use for your plumbing at the site so for example this is natural gas piping this is non-insulated copper piping this is domestic piping hot water this is galvanized this is copper cold cpvc copper condensate these are all types of piping and it's related fittings all packaged into group so for example if i'm using a certain uh, for a job I will be using that now how to identify which to use that we're going to show you in another section how to choose this and how to start with the fittings we are also going to show you in another section what we're going to do today is we're going to show you some very simple thing because if you want to <coughs> assist if you're an assistant estimator first things you can do is just instead of learning everything about estimation what you can do is you can assist a senior estimator and the way to do this is first you download the drawings from the email, organize them, which I haven't really shown, but that's pretty much, it's very easy. Everybody knows how to do that. For example, this is turned as well. This is one of those jobs. Uh, see, this is one of the jobs for one of my clients and all the pictures are here. So I've downloaded them and I've organized it in such a way I can do a better job in it, um, working on that. Um, after I do that, and then I, I download the plans in here. After I download, I scale them and I'm ready for takeoff. Now, when I do takeoff, they ask me for this. They ask me which specs I'm going to use. Here, I'm just going to use open or packs because I'm doing something called fixtures. Now, open or packs is a water line that we use for our plumbing. But uh, right now, what we're going to do is you're going to help the senior estimator. You're not going to estimate because you're not comfortable with it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do a quantity list. So, this video is more about how to uh, download of how to set, uh, start your takeoff for a um, section and <clears throat> after that how to do a takeoff so for the senior inspector for the senior estimator he has a little bit of uh, prerequisite work that's done for him and in chapter four we're going to show you how to do more takeoffs and we're going to go into details over there but that's we're going to work on it later so in this drawing, how to do an estimate. So for example, I go here and I write, this is one of my drawings. I'm going to choose fifth and I'll say fixtures. Okay. And I'm going to click on here. And this is open. And so what I want to do is, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about all this piping. I'm just going to worry about this. So this is a toilet. You can see that. That's a WF1. What is WF1? Could be water filter, water fountain, everything, right? What is U? U is usually stands for urinals. WC2 is for a toilet. We're going to make one more video about how to uh, uh, identify what's type and everything. And uh, But for now, we're just going to go with WC2. Let me, you know what? Hold on one second. So this is WC2. What they mean and what the type is, we are we can we're gonna show you in another video. Now here you can see that you have a water closet. It's a toilet, but it doesn't have a tank. Now if you're if you're new, you wouldn't recognize that. But this doesn't mean nothing because what what's what is important is what's in the specs. We're gonna talk about specs in another video. Right now our step is. We're gonna make sure we're gonna do a quantity test. For example, if I read this drawing, and if I that's what I'll have to read that drawing, and this will be, it'll show you that it's a demolition room. It's and then it's the same room because you can see a washroom here, a washroom here, similar everything, a wall here, no wall here. But I mean that's why it's new. So <clears throat> we're gonna assume that that's what it is. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a takeoff. So I see here, I go to plumbing fixtures because it's all fixtures here. 
and if I don't find anything, I've always write it is WC1. It's a toilet. So if I look for a water closet, there's two water closets. One's a floor mount, one's a wall mount, one's a floor mount flush rock, one's a floor mount tank. I'm not sure what it is. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll click on here because I know it's a toilet. It's a this one's with a tank, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clone it and I'm gonna write. It says WC with a flush valve. I'm gonna write <coughs> WC dash one. And I will click on it. Now it made it the same one. I'm gonna start and do this. Then I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna come here. Water fountain. I don't know what that is. It looks like a water fountain. So if I look for it. So why why uh, so we can't find a water fountain now one thing so you can also make your own right but the thing is there's something called a labor rate right for example if the toilet if i if i if i take a toilet and i look at his thing it's giving me it's four hours of labor to install a toilet so for example if i'm installing f1 f2 whatever it's still i want to keep the labor rate same so this is a water fountain which is something that i came across after a long time so i have to just work on it but let's work together let's see what i can use this is what an emergency this is right here emergency shower emergency eye wash station cooler cooler so i can use similar see i can use eight hours i can use four hours you know what so i'm just going to go here or six hours here and i'm going to write water filler dash one and then i'll close this in here in my fast pipe if you click here <clears throat> this is discards it, it cancels it but if you click this it actually saves it right so i'll do that and i'll do this so now this is also done now i'm going to go here to urinal so i'm going to go for a urinal and i click on here two three Oh, one, two, three, four. So that was the wrong one. I'm going to delete that. Five, six. Now this is WC2. So if I use WC1, what's the difference? If toilet is toilet, what's the difference? The difference is afterwards, I'm going to show you how we generate this information. And for example, if this WC1 is toilet is over $400, and this toilet is for two thousand dollars you don't want it to be same you want it to be separate so that's why they have this wc one or two is definitely means it's a toilet but it's a different kind or something so i'm going to go back here i'm going to clone wc1 and i'm going to say wc2 and then i'm going to save and cancel and i'm going to do this now this is i'm quantifying okay i'm not worrying about any pipes i could also do flow drains and and uh, clean outs but we are not going to work on this now right now you're just assisting a senior estimator and you're just going to do a takeoff for him make, make sure you, you you make sure you don't miss anything that's the most important thing because one toilet can cost you between two four hundred dollars to five hundred a toilet can be eight thousand dollars some things i've seen they're like twenty thousand dollars where the cheapest thing is only for three hundred dollars so you make sure that you count it right and when the senior estimator is going through he will know that all this and so if you miss anything he'll see it right so it's not a problem now again i go for here again this is so this drawing is a little bit weird where they're showing you the demo and then, and then this but today we're not discussing the drawing we're just discussing the, the thing so we are gonna uh, these are all new fixtures i don't really care about the old fixture because i'm not doing a quantity for that so i'll just go here now i come here it says l1 <coughs> L, L anything means laboratory sink or counter. So when there are two kinds of sink and counter top, okay? There is a, a lab countertop laboratory sink or lab sink countertop. Uh, and this one is wall hung sink. So right now this doesn't see, I, I don't see a counter. I could be wrong. But I'm going to go with <clears throat> what I see because I am not talking about what the L1, which model number it is. We're going to talk about it in another video. In this one, we're only going to talk about the sink. So I'm going to say it's L1. Even though it's lab one, I want to purposely clone it and say lab dash one or L1. Close it. <coughs> one. 
water closet wc1 now shower s shower h2 oops this is water closet i should put shower so i go here and i look for a shower here i see shower wow shower this is a valve water line this is just a drain you'll know it after a couple of times clone it and i'm gonna write what does it say it says sh dash two sh dash two close it go here go to the next room <coughs> l2 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 i only have l we can press l here l1 so i'm going to clone l2 if it says four times even though it looks like a one sink you write four times and then he will see it or you can write a note on it or something right uh now i go for water closet one I confirm it's water closet one from here i don't want to just do something that's wrong now i send this a wc2 i just go fast you check it and you close it you zoom out you make sure everything is done <clears throat> and now we are done from page one yep so now i go and i write another and i say is there any now i say the second drawing and I use any because I'm not doing I'm saying um, fixtures page two or I could write the name reference part of the drawing I don't really care about that so for me it really doesn't matter because I do everything one one way here's shower basin sh1 so if I go here I'll go for fixtures but this is any this is drain this is fixtures so if I go for fixtures sh2 I should have SH1 as well. I don't have SH1, so I'm going to click here, scale it first, asking me to scale. So again, I go back. I see there's no scale here. I see scale ones to 50. I go back here, ones to 50. Boom. Come back. Make sure my toilets make sense. Yes, it should be between 16 to 22. I click on here. I click on here. I go in the center of the toilet. Let's see what this is, and it is actually. I'm gonna do it the other way because this way you won't be able to see it. So, here I am using this measurement, and I'm gonna check, and uh, it's close to one point six, so it's 18 inches, so that's perfect. So, my scaling is good. <coughs> I don't really need scaling when I'm doing fixtures, but I don't know why I said that. But you know what? Let's start. So, again. Faucet WC1, WC1, L3, I go to L2, here, just write L3. It says two times, so I write two times. SH1, SH1, I don't have SH1, so I go here, SH1, boom, two, three, four, Five anymore six seven. I got my showers, I got my toilets, I got my sinks. I think I'm good. Now I go back up here. This one they have done the they, they have done. now. You know more information like this when you read it, but basically, this is the existing for the thing, and this is the new. I don't want to add a fixture. See, fixture can be this big or it can be this small. It's all fixtures, right? So be careful. Sometimes you can you can very easily click like this. Now watch, I'll click it. You won't be able to see it. But it actually, the shower, and the shower is two thousand dollars. Now you owe you were just two thousand higher, right? So you got to be very careful with all that. So now this is done. I, let me just verify it, make sure everything's done because I'm also making the video and I'm also doing this for myself. <coughs> So now I'm going to go for page three. Again, you know what? It doesn't matter. You know what? I'm just going to keep it safe. I'm going to write fixtures. Page three. Well, page seven, actually. Again, demo. New plumbing. New plumbing notes are here. Demo notes are here. Actually, I should make a video of how to 
read the drawing as well so that is important but for now we're just doing fixtures so let's come back to our topic go back here fixtures sh1 set scale i know is 1 is to 50 but i'm not going to take a risk i i know it is but you know what just good to check in until you start getting your own thing usually it is it's only when you do two different zones like when you when it's such a big job and they're showing you uh like i showed you in one of the examples where they're showing you a big uh whole job scope and then they zoom in and show you a section right so for that the scaling changes otherwise it all remains the same back to our thing thing sh1 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 come back down lots of showers in this place lots of showers and you can see this is dark this is light when it's light it's existing so existing it says four let me read what it says for because it says four here too so i'm going to read for you existing plumbing fixtures to remain so which means existing plumbing fixtures to remain that's actually a change order right here we'll talk about the change order later um let me just do this and i'll explain you why i did that but i don't want to explain in the video but what i'm assuming is that there was a mistake here they shouldn't have put this for this is something that we have to let the consultant know about it so we can he can verify and do that but again that's out of the scope of this video so we're going to leave it uh we just confirmed this is wc1 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 l1 l1 and we're gonna go here and so this is how we finish this existing washroom that one's fine fixtures fixtures are remain, gonna remain there so let me just make sure i didn't miss anything you know what i did it's tme it is it is something it's called a temperature mixing valve uh so what i'll do is i'll just go i'll just go for four hours if i'm not sure i'll just go for four hours for anything small temperature mixing valve and like i said uh, when the estimator will come he will check it and uh, we're gonna go like this and temperature mixing valve it's installed it's done and now we go to our uh, more videos or or, or or my pages are done let me check it's done and that's how you do a takeoff now what happens after you do a takeoff let's talk about that too so what i'll do is i'll go here and i'll say selected or all because well, let's say selected because i selected it and this is how it's telling me fixture but what's the quantity of fixture where so i'm going to go here and i'm going to say fixtures and i can write the name the das i can say open I'm more interested in the quantities not in the pricing right now because I have to figure out how many toilets I have to order I've already got the pricing for this one so we're gonna wait for this system to add up this one takes a little bit time for me so let me just pause it so we're back it's working now so what I have to do is I'm gonna go here into into the fixture private fixture and here i'll get all this amount right i'll get all the amount here and then if i go and i'm going to show you how i use this information so i do a quantity list over here and uh, that's uh, why i will use this and in the next video i'm going to show you how we're going to fill up this form 